Hello everyone and welcome back to another UI Samurai video. This time we are going to be redesigning the Danish citizenship application page. Anyone who wants to become a Danish citizen needs to send out the documentation through the system to submit the application. Let's start by looking how the page is structured. There are three main blocks of information. On the first block, you have information about the application dates, option to save or delete the application, an explanation about the symbols used in the menu, a link to download the help document, and lastly, an information about the system status. In the middle is where we have the main content of the page. Here is where we are going to upload documents and also add information. And on the right, we have the menu with all the steps needed to complete before sending the application. I used the system myself and I saw many areas for improvement in the user experience and the overall structure of the interface, especially in the stays abroad section, which is the one that we are going to be redesigning today. I recreated the interface in Figma, so we are going to be redesigning over it. The very first thing that I miss in the whole application is a title for it. There is no clear indication that this page is from the Danish citizenship application. So let's add a page title for it. The first column has only static information that does not get updated while we use the system. We can move this content or even remove some of it to have more horizontal space for the main content, which is the middle column. This information is regarding when the application was created and when it will expire. Let's make it easier to scan by using a better date format and less text. And move it to the top. We'll also be adding the applicant's name here. The delete button doesn't need to be so exposed, assuming it's rarely that someone deletes an application. We could move it inside something like a My Application page. And let's also move to the top the Save My Application button. This is an explanation of the icons in the menu. We could remove this section completely and add contextual explanation when hovering the icons. The link to the support document can also be moved to the top of the page. And the last one is about the system status and maintenance. This type of notifications would be better placed as the first element on top of the page. So we most likely ensure that they are read and users can also close them if they want to. We're going to remove it for now and add later in the end of the redesign. Now we are left with some empty space that can be used for the main content. So let's adjust the layout to make a better use of the space. One thing that we can notice is that it's being used two typefaces in the page. We can keep things simple and go with only one. I'll be using a Google font called Chivo, which looks pretty modern and fits well for the theme of the page. Now that we chose the right font, we have a base to style the rest of the page. We can add a light gray background color for the entire page and make this container in white, so it's more in tune with the background. Let's also remove this graphic, as it is affecting the legibility of the text. Color all the text in dark gray in order to create contrast with the background. In the header, everything looks like in the same group, because they are sharing the same styling. We want to make a clear distinction between these two blocks, but giving more emphasis on the one below, as it has the primary action to save the application. Let's add a blue background to it to make it pop in the interface. Now let's start working on the content of the main block. We're going to remove the gray background and adjust the alignment and spacing. We should also increase the line spacing of the paragraph, this will make it easier to read. These buttons are the two options of answer for this question. But right now, the question is blended in the same paragraph with the text, making it less straightforward to notice it. We can separate the question into a new line and make it bold. It makes it stand out more this way. The page right now is quite heavy in content. There is a lot to read and everything is presented in one go. So let's fix this. This text block is supplementary information. We can hide it inside an accordion, where it's going to be shown only when the user decides to do so. By showing only the essential information in the first place, it makes the user less overwhelmed. Next, we should color all the text buttons in blue, because right now, they are in the same style as the body text. Like that, we make it more evident what are the clickable elements in the interface. Let's move on with the other buttons. Currently, they all have the same style. 
they share the same color, size and shape. We should avoid that, because this makes everything look in the same hierarchy level and equally important. Let's fix that and start by styling the yes and no buttons. We're gonna make them with less visual weight than the others. In the bottom navigation, these two buttons are to go back or to save and continue. We can spread them in opposite sides. We want to give more emphasis on the save and continue button, as we want to encourage the user to move forward in the process. For that, let's make the back button lighter by making it text only. And the save application button doesn't have enough contrast with the blue background. Let's make it white. Now we are ready to move to the stay section. Each of these containers corresponds to a place that the applicant visited. To add a new place, the user presses this button. But to remove, the user can only do that for the last added place. This can become extremely annoying when you have 20 places added, but later you need to remove only one in the middle of the list. Let's fix that by adding a remove button inside each container and move the add place button outside of the last one. This instruction is being repeated in every container. We can have only one outside as a heading, so we save some vertical space. Now, let's work in the container design. We can see by the stars that almost all fields are mandatory, except for the region. We can remove it and also get rid of the stars, so it's less clutter in the interface. We also move the labels to be all the time visible on top of the input field. The month, day, year are split in three drop-downs. This approach increases the interaction cost by forcing the user to click many times to set a date. We can make things simple here and combine everything in a single input field where the user can type the date. In the last drop-down, it is missing a label. Let's add so the user knows what is being asked. The remove button is quite heavy. Let's make it stand out less by making it text only. Now let's tie the add button to be more in line with the containers. We will give the same background color to match the styles. We added the plus icon to the add button. This helps the user to faster recognize what action this button performs. We can apply the same principle in the other buttons, like a trash can to remove, a arrow pointing to the left to go back, and so on. This is looking better. Now let's move to the menu, which right now looks completely apart from the rest of the interface. The system today does a good job by dividing into sections what information is needed from the applicant. By showing less information at a time, it allows the users to focus and decrease the chances of errors. But at the same time, this menu has too many items. This can give the impression that it will take more effort to complete the application. Some of the items ask only one question, for example, your civil status or if you have kids. We can combine these two into one item, reducing the number of steps. Let's also make the text lowercase, so it's easier to read. Since the goal here is to have all items completed with a check mark, let's move the status indication icons to be the first element in the row. Let's keep the text in one line only, and make the background white, to be more in line with the other elements in the interface. We're gonna add the dividers of each row, and make the font slightly bigger, with the blue color. We can also redesign the status icons to make them more visually interesting. This is looking better, but the number seems to be a bit out of space here and it's lacking some air for the longer text. We can try to combine the numbers with the status indication icons. This will make it look less cluttered and fix the spacing problem. This is looking better, matching the style of the other elements. We are just missing to redesign the footer. Right now, everything seems to be spread apart and in the same style. Let's fix that. We're gonna also add another line to the links, so they're perceived as clickable elements. So, we are pretty much done here. Let's compare the original interface with the redesigned one.
Let me know what you think of the end result, and if you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more redesigned cases like this, subscribe to the U Samurai channel. Thanks and see you in the next video!